I guess the gathering is unique in lots of ways because we're bringing people together from different church planting networks and tribes and part of the value in those conversations around the tables is not only new insights that will come because someone's in a different context from your own but just relationships that could form and, and who knows where that might take us for the future. Yeah. Yeah. And I think the context of the time where we find ourselves is really important for this sort of conversation. Bear in mind COVID, bear in mind some of the, the pressures that are being put on churches, some of the pressures that churches have felt through difficulty in church planting during those times. I think it's a really good time to, on one, one level, bring it back to a, a focus that can be built upon. So I think ro rolling out of COVID is a really good time to have these sorts of conversations. And I also think there's an openness, I think, amongst some of the networks that are going to be there, churches that are going to be represented, to be able to, to listen from people who may be on in diff, slightly different tribes, love Jesus, but actually just to learn. And I think church planting allows us to do that well and do that safely, which excites me. I'm, I'm hoping that the discussions don't just happen on the day around tables, but actually there is a legacy of church planters, church planting networks interacting with one another going forward continuing the discussion, just progressing that discussion, us learning from mistakes that we've made, good ideas that others have had, um, and working out how we can work together to plant more churches to reach more people with the gospel. And you think that, that that's got to be pretty exciting. That's a good way to spend a day, in my view.